Chris Hansen was like, sit down. Fam. Have a seat right there. Yeah. Shorty was like, would you like some cookies? He's like, yeah. Hold on, I'm washing my hair. I'll be down in a second. <laughs> like, I'd like to play on your back nine. No. Sit, please. Okay. I need to talk to you. Yes, we, you and I, need to talk about Grace and Murray. And it involves alcoholism, mental health, and the perils of PGA Tour life and what that can do to a person who doesn't have a solid foundation. Grayson Murray has had some struggles here at this par four. This is a double bogey attempt. There's gonna be a seven at the seventh and yeah, hello. At this stage, we know Grayson Murray more for his Twitter meltdowns abhorrent behavior on the course or just walk-offs and not finishing rounds more than we know him for quality golf. While reading up and researching for this video, found so many instances and references going back to college of Grayson not finishing rounds. As a prodigious young star at 10 years old, it was almost assured in his neighboring city of Wake Forest, North Carolina, near his hometown of Raleigh, that he was going to be a star and go on to lead the Demon Deacons to success. Matching Tiger Woods winning three Callaway Junior Championships, Grayson Murray did not enjoy the same success in college, leaving Wake Forest after his freshman semester and enrolling in East Carolina University, later transferring to North Carolina to Greensboro, um, not playing any golf there, and then moving west to Arizona State, where he would last another semester before quitting golf on the college level altogether. It was at this low point in Grayson's life, combined with the bike accident, that had him seeking out answers and led him to be diagnosed with social anxiety disorder. This causes the fear of being judged and evaluated negatively by other people, leading to feelings of inadequacy, inferiority, embarrassment, humiliation, and depression. If you're struggling with mental health or substance abuse, there are some resources down below in the description box. You don't have to go at it alone. No matter how alone you feel, there's someone out there willing to help you out. Website and phone number down below for free resources if you are in need of help. It was at this point that those close to Grayson realized that his struggles to stay in college came from his social anxiety disorder. Wake Forest golf coach Jerry Haas once told Grayson, I'm not worried about you as a golfer. That'll be taken care of, but I'm worried about you as a person. After seeking out mental health care and getting on medications, Grayson advanced to the web.com tour, seeing early success winning in his first year and advancing to the PGA Tour, returning to the form on the course that had brought him so much success early on. In an action-packed rookie season, Grayson won his first tournament, insulted Champions Tour players, his fellow tour members for being boring on social media, which led to several account deactivations as well as setting the stage for the prolific Twitter troll that we know Grayson Murray to be today. Is Grayson doing the right thing by letting his opinions fly or should he kind of protect them a little bit more? I think, I think any employer, anybody who has a boss or has a company they work for, you have this, there's a certain code of conduct that you're expected to follow on social media, even if it's not specifically outlined. Uh, journalists at Time Inc., there's still certain things we're not going to tweet about our personal lives. Uh, accountants said Price Waterhouse, same thing. PGA Tour has its own culture and its own uh, sort of way of doing things and presenting yourself on social media. You're allowed to be yourself, but there's always lines not to cross. And Grayson Murray, for whatever reason, just seems to live on this line and occasionally cross it. And when he does that, the, the corporate culture, for lack of a better term, is going to come back to him. Um, as it's happening again with this latest Schwab tweet. Yeah. In the subsequent years that have passed since his hot start on the PGA Tour, miscuts, withdrawals, and mental health struggles, in addition to uh, new revelations of alcoholism, have really derailed Grayson Murray's momentum. In a world where Grayson Murray has no problem holding his peers accountable via Twitter, 
He seemingly passed the buck on his own responsibility in handling his personal issues onto the PGA Tour by saying he wasn't supported in his rookie season and early years on the tour. An early 2022 Twitter beef erupted between Kevin Nye and Grayson over missed cuts, slow play, and walking putts in the hole, causing Ben on to interject himself, which it appears they have history back to 2017. Sean, I think Grayson Murray, he's got to own it, though. Enough with the activate and deactivate your Twitter account. If you want to be this guy who's outspoken, says whatever's on his mind, no matter who it upsets, then be that guy. And you know what? I'll respect that. But to, to delete the tweet after he posted it, come on, Grayson, we all have the screen capture. We all saw the tweet. Quoting his father here, I think this wraps up the entire situation. In the end, no matter how you feel about Grayson Murray, if you've been pushed to one side or the other for him or against him, no one wants to see another human being struggle on that level. Even if we feel like he deserves it, we all want compassion uh, in our time of need. Whether it's playing golf or finding some other outlet that makes Grayson happy, that's what I wish for him as a human being. Um, no matter his stances or his inflammatory nature, I hope that he finds the ability to be the person that his family knows he can be. And, and the person that it seems like he's fighting to be, it's hard to see a 28-year-old man struggle to find his way through life. You would have hoped that the talent and the resources that he had at his disposal would come to bear. He's still a very young man um, in life and in the game of golf. So I'm hoping that he finds his footing and perseveres through his mental health struggles as well as his alcoholism go ahead and hit that subscribe button plug in with me we'll be bringing more videos your way we'll catch you on the next one